Flames here, welcome back to the channel. We're here with part two of the DIY theme park um, Discord submissions. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, make sure you go check that out first of all. Um, but yeah, we're going to look at the rest of the submissions in the Discord. There's some really good submissions. And this episode we will find or will come to the submission that I voted on. So I did mention that at the beginning of the first video. Um, but yeah, it's actually in this second video. <laughs> Which I did wonder, I did debate about. I didn't know whether it was going to be in the first or second. Um, but yeah, we have it in the uh, second part. So you'll be able to see which community members submission I came across. Um, where possible, if I do remember or recognize a submission, I will let the person know and say, hey, by the way, I found your submission or oh, I voted for yours. Because I always think it's nice to know when your submissions are found or voted on and things like that. So I do try and do that. Um, but yeah, why don't we go jump over to Discord and we can take a look at the other half of the DIY theme park submissions and uh, you can see what amazing creations are out there. Okay, so we're starting off with Say Hi Joel with their submission. I love this one. You've got the Dumbo elephant ride and the teacup ride like right at the front. We have the Ferris wheel in the background, which is a nice little touch. I love seeing the Ferris wheel either kind of like centrally in the photos or if you have like two of them to have them like left and right side. I think that's how it works best uh, personally. So this is lovely to see. And I do also love that there's a little Mickey cloud behind it. I think that's a really cute touch. And your character is fully dressed up and ready for Disney. So I think this is a super fun submission and uh, yeah I think it's going to do really well. Okay so next up we have Miss Verna's submission. I really really love the lighting in this one. One I love that you've got the sun here and then you've got this big Mickey tower in front of it just kind of like the shadow that creates or like the illumination I think is really cool. I love that you've got the like the swans here to create like this boat ride. I think that's such a cool idea and uh, such a clever touch like a great way of creating like almost a new ride uh, which is super fun. You do have the Ferris wheel here on the slightly to the left side along with the teacup ride and the Dumbo ride in the shot which is fun and then a couple of the like Toy Story uh, toy amusement park kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can tell I'm brilliant with words um, but yeah the the um, show your strength test and the photo booth and the little Pixar ball I think they were great touches to use but yeah this is a really cute scene I love how the sun's reflecting on the pond it's just very very pretty so I think this can do really well Next up we have Princess Rachel who doesn't have any of the theme park rides but you've done a really great submission. So we have our little Toontown section here to the left using the Mickey and Minnie fountain. I think that's super cute and obviously making use of Goofy, Mickey, Minnie and Donald's house. You have the tall iron water tower which was a great addition. You've got the up balloons here, you've got Rapunzel's tower the Hollywood Tower Hotel, Scrooge's Shop, um, even Woody's Carousel. These items all work really, really well together and really add to the whole theme park vibe. And what I love is the fact that you've got Pizza Planet here. But what you've done is you've angled it in a way that it looks like you're stood here at this stool to order some like little cupcakes and things like that. Like I think that's a great way to kind of create a unique shot um, is to use a item and angle it in a certain way. So I did similar in my main submission where we've actually sort of made use of the uh like the trees and the benches on the pizza planet ride not ride a uh, like house skin it's not a house skin you know building building <laughs> um yeah i think that's really great and then there's a lot of cool little touches in this photo we've got donald down here which is lovely to see you've got the um i believe this is from mike's quest line it's like a comedy set up sign which is really cute seeing all the little like plushies and stuff like that 
is a really fun addition and then you've got Mickey here as well. So I think this is a really, really strong submission. Now next up we have High Five to the Face and I absolutely love this submission. Again, sort of talking about how having two of the Ferris wheels, sort of one on the left and one on the right side. There's a lot of symmetry in this photo, which I love, even with the up balloons in the background. I love how you've kind of lined this wall with those uh, It's a Small World pillars. I guess you've used that to kind of hide a lot of your tags and stuff like that, but it works really, really well. Um, and then you've got the Mickey and Minnie fountain here in the middle. This bit's lined with park benches, which is a wonderful addition. You've got the Dumbo ride, the teacup ride. You've got Mickey here. The little like trolley thing with the popcorn and the candy floss. Honestly, I just have a lot of stress with this little like wagon thing because I put a plate in it in one of my dream snaps, um, which was just me like hiding tags and stuff like that. And now I can't get it out. And my assumption is I can't get it out because of the plate being flat and not being able to get the right angle to like select just the the plate i've tried no end to get it out so yeah i just get stressed about these wagons as now <laughs> um but yeah i think it still looks really cool um i love how you're sat here at the front and then you've got mickey i think this is a wonderful submission and you do have a mickey cloud in the background which is lovely to see bonus points for the mickey cloud Next up we have Bonnie's submission. Again, I think this submission has been taken from a camera. So I, again, apologise for anyone having to obviously look at that. Um, not from a camera, from like a TV screen. Um, actually, this could be a Switch device. This could be a Switch device. I don't know. But I still really like this submission. You know, you've used the partner statue. You've got Scrooge's store here. You've used Mickey's house. Um, you've used Minnie's clock tower. Um, it's a really cute photo. Obviously, you didn't have a lot of park rides to create that kind of theme parky vibe, but you're certainly sort of trying to lean more into the like Main Street or Toontown kind of vibes. So I think that's a wonderful um, direction to go in. Now, next we have Amy's submissions. We have two submissions from Amy. This one's really, really cute, really aesthetic. I love this kind of like nighttime vibe, but then the sparkles that you've got with it, like the sparkles of the stars and the moon, all the lights coming from the buildings, like the frosty fortress, uh, this like winter palace, you've got the heart um, castle kind of uh, building here, you've got Scrooge's store. I think this is really cute, really aesthetic. And using the swans here to create this kind of like boat ride with the swans was a great touch. You've got the partner statue here as well, which is a lovely addition. The Ferris wheel looks fantastic. This is a really, really cool shot and really, really unique. And I really enjoyed this one. We then have your male avatars um, submission, which I love this one as well. I love that you've done it on the beach. Like this is such a really cool perspective. I've never actually seen a beach layout like this. So this is like the little Skull Rock Island, I'm assuming. That's what I do believe. Um, but how you've lined these buildings along here, like I guess that's the Monsters Inc. house, I think. That's Remy's house. That's the other Monsters Inc. house, I think. This is Scrooge's store. What is this one? Is this the Hollywood Tower of Terror? Perhaps. You've got the Frosty Fortress in the background. You've got one of the castles here. I think that's the Winter Palace one. This is the regular one. This is the Spooky Castle. Honestly, there's so much depth to this photo. I absolutely love it. You've got the partner statue here. You've got this Mickey um, like fountain statue here, which is a lovely addition. I just love the road look of this. Like, this is so cool. This honestly doesn't look like... Like, I know where this is because it's the beach. And so you can sort of, like, summarise where... Not summarise, but, like, deduce where it is. But it's just... It looks like a whole nother world. Like, this just looks incredible. All these buildings look so good lined up like this. This is just, like, incredible. And then you do have a Mickey Cloud here, which is amazing to see. I love seeing a Mickey Cloud, but, yeah, this is just wonderful. I've never seen such a unique, like, layout before. 
this is incredible. It's honestly making me want to almost decorate my beach in this way. Because this is really cool. I really like this. This just looks really cool. Yeah, this is fabulous. Next up, we have Emmy's DIY theme park. And this is the submission that we actually ended up voting on. We came across it on stream and it was up against a really strong competitor. So I do want to say that first of all, like I don't, I, I do believe the submissions you go up against are like randomized and stuff like that because I've seen submissions multiple times and they'll be up against different submissions when I see them. So I, I, I do think it's completely randomized, but it, it was up against a really strong competitor. Um, but yeah, this is just a really wonderful photo. I, I love that you've gone for the gold flooring. I think that's really different and unique. I love the Ferris wheel here in the middle, using the boat, the castle, the pizza planet. Matching yourself to the Incredi Squirrel was such a cute addition. Um, you've got the teacup ride here. I love the like candy floss and the popcorn, the little touches there. And then all these sparkles. Honestly, this is just such a bright and vibrant photo, but it works so, so well. Um, yeah, this is just a lovely submission and it was a pleasure to vote for your uh, dream snap when it came up when voting. Next up, we have Melly B, who's gone for a kind of like vintage submission, uh, vintage vibes with their creation. I love that your character has this kind of like Snow White vibe to them. Like that's what I'm getting from this, but it's super cute. Um, I, of course, love the giant Mickey cloud. That is beautiful. We have the castle. We have the partner statue. That works really, really well. We've got all the balloons, which is just a nice little feature. And then we've got the giant Ferris wheel here as well, which is a lovely addition. And I love that this is kind of like maybe a more quieter section of the park, like a bit more of a uh, gardens, botanical gardens kind of area. I think it works really, really well. It's a beautiful submission and I hope this does extremely well because I really like this one. Next up, we have Ali with their submission and this is incredible. I love that you frame the photo using the balloons. I think that's such a great idea. You've got the teacup ride, you've got the Dumbo ride. We have the partner statue in the middle with the castle behind it. And then you've got the giant Ferris wheel here on the left. But then on the right side, you've got this beautiful Mickey cloud, which I love to see. I love how the flowers are kind of like glowing and sparkling because of the like the pixel or the glimmer, whatever this stuff's called. Um, and then I love that you're in this silver dress and then you've got Mickey in the centennial outfit. I just think the vibes kind of match, which is a lovely thing to see. This is a beautiful photo. Um, I think this is very adorable. Now we come to my submission. Wait, this is not my final submission. One moment. This is my final submission. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. That's not my final submission. This is my final submission. This is what we landed on. Um, so we have my character at the front. I really wanted to use the mini dress because I don't often get to dress in dresses like well i guess for every other week i can't do like those cute dresses and things like that because it just it ruins your tag count i think um when it comes to dream snaps so yeah <laughs> i kind of wanted to go with the like mini vibes i even changed the hair and added like the pop of red in it because i thought that was a really cute addition um i've gone with the incredi squirrel because i thought one it's kind of Again, like a kind of Disney bound esque kind of vibe, um, but also the red and black matches quite nicely. Now, um, as I talked about, I don't know if was it in this video, I talked about, yeah, the Pizza Planet. So we've actually turned this and angled it so you see the benches and the trees, which I think is just like kind of like a different viewpoint of the Pizza Planet. We do have Kristoff here, but his head is kind of gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's blocked behind the tree but I took this one because I loved how Donald looked I love that it looked like Donald's like almost dive bombing onto the squirrel I just I just thought it was funny okay I know it's a detail that a lot of people probably aren't gonna see but I just thought it was funny so I kind of kept it 
We do have Goofy in the background there, not that you can really see him. We do also have Fairy Godmother and Vanessa. I did have a ton of characters locked into this space, um, but apparently I gave them too much freedom of movement that you can't really see any of them. You wouldn't believe it, but I had Rapunzel in here, I had Mirabelle in here, I had Belle in here, I had... Uh, Buzz in here, I think I had Mickey and Minnie both in here, or at least Mickey. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of characters that you don't actually see in this shot, but I did have them trapped. And also, I went back and double-checked. My toilets are hidden behind this cart and this cart. I did have them up on the top layer, but I removed them from the top layer because I wanted the characters to move around more because they were getting trapped by the toilets. So I had to change that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have our Mickey and Minnie fountains here. We have the Ferris wheels. We have our Mickey cloud in the background. It's very obscured, but it is there. And then we have the Dream Castle and Shea Remy and Scrooge's shop. So I think this came out really well in the end. Are there things I would like to have slightly differently? Yes, I do wish there was more characters in the front. I wish Kristoff hadn't lost his head. <laughs> you know a part of me wonders would it look better if the ferris wheels were slightly lit up i do think so um but i i'm kind of happy with this i hope this does well i i i do hope that it's a 4k worthy snap but only time will tell only time will tell next up we have febrian's submission and this is so beautiful this is so cute I love that you've got the ferris wheel in the middle it looks like you're pulling this little trolley along using these wooden like planks like this flooring such a cool idea it works really really well in terms of like color scheme and things like that you've got the figment topiaries here but you don't even see figment but i love the kind of like unique shot that this creates in framing for the front of the photo you've got the woody's carousel here which is a nice little detail and then like the toy story photo booths and like the alien grab machine just to kind of give those like amusement parky kind of rides all the little food stalls this is just a beautiful submission i think this is going to do extremely well next up we have cole's submission oh my god cole the amount of times i had to tell cole stop spiraling stop changing this is so good though this is so good i absolutely love this one okay so we've got the um the two ferris wheels right so they're like symmetrical we have the castle we have the partner statue so that's a really cool shot in itself we have the balloons at the front which frames the front of the photo nicely um then we have these park benches which just kind of pull your focus towards this middle section which i love your character's here posing with the zero fox your character looks cute and dressed up for disney but what i love is how mickey and donald look like look at them kind of like running towards you kind of like running by the side of you that's just really kind of like dynamic i love that and i do love that behind this very ferris wheel you've got this mickey cloud and it looks like the mickey the mickey is on the ferris wheel which is really really cute i love this submission this is perfect this is so so good and yeah i love this i think this is super fun i yeah this is a wonderful submission you've done amazing here next up we have wolfie with this kind of like long angled shot we have the um the starlight projectors here add in this cute purple glow we've got this little um it's like a, a toy town setup um which is really cute you've got mike here you've got Kristoff. you have vanessa um or ursula however you want to refer to her you've got eric you've got um Elsa I don't know why I forgot her name then <laughs> you've got Jack you've got Beast um are there any others that I'm not seeing oh fairy godmother I almost missed her oh you've got Stitch next to you as well um I think that's it for the characters but it's so great there's a lot of characters in here you've got like the little food stalls you've got like the food court with the wally set up here you've got the ferris wheel in the background so there's a lot going on and i love how you've lined this walkway with the disney uh 100 centennial rugs i think that was a really good addition um yeah i think this is a really cool really unique shot 
Next up, we have Cornflake Girl with this beautiful, beautiful submission. This is lovely. I love the colours on it, the way the sun kind of peeks through behind the trees there. You've got uh, Minnie here. You've got Goofy. I love the use of the Minnie and Mickey fountain. Using uh, Woody's carousel was a great touch. You've got the tall Mickey water tower, which works well. Um, you've got the Hollywood uh, Tower Hotel here. Um, this is either Remy's house or his restaurant. I'm not entirely sure which one. I'm leaning towards his house, but I could be wrong. But yeah, this is giving very Main Street kind of vibes. Um, a great submission. Even though you don't have like the parks rides, you still come up with something that feels like a theme park. And I think it really, really works. I think this is a wonderful submission. Next up we have Henry's submission. I did see a bit of this on stream um, and this is really fun. I love that you've got Donald, Mickey and Minnie here. I think they were great additions to the shot. I love the angle of the Ferris wheel, the inclusion of the boat here. Uh, you've got the Dumbo ride, the teacup ride, you've got Pizza Planet. And then in the distance you have the castle with the Mickey cloud behind it. This is a really fun submission, really vibrant, really bright. And uh, yeah, I love it. Even like the little detail of all the food on the table, the snack machine in the background. This is a wonderful submission and I think it's going to do really well. I think this is a guaranteed 4K for you. Next up we have Nia with her submission and I love this Nia, this is amazing. Um, so we've got our Mickey Cloud in the background there, your character's fully dressed up for the parks um, and I love how everything's kind of sectioned off, you've really used fence in here to kind of like section off the rides which I think works really really well with the whole like theme park vibes and stuff like that because usually there's barriers at least as far as I'm aware I've not been to the Disney parks but from experience with theme parks I've been to um, they tend to have like barriers around the rides and stuff like that so that you can sort of people don't just jump onto them and things like that so I love how you've used the fence in there um, I think that was a really um, good idea, even the um, benches and stuff like that. Um, again, just a lovely little touch, uh, all the trees and everything like that. You've got Woody's carousel here. This is just a beautiful submission, really well thought out, really well um, kind of like created. So I think this is going to do well. Now next up we have the Decorista submission and this is a stunning submission. The colours? The colours on this, wow, they just really pop. I love, of course, the Mickey Cloud in the background. We've got the Ferris wheel. You've gone with the, like, Heart Castle, which I think is a lovely change. Very kind of different vibes to a lot of what we've seen. Using the swan boats here, like, as if they're coming down this, like, little uh waterway like on this river and stuff like that i think that's a really cute touch it's a very very pink submission very bright very vibrant i think mickey looks super cool here in this outfit and uh you've got some of the parks rides as well so obviously the dumbo ride the ferris wheel uh the little stand in the background also the figment topiary i think this is a wonderful wonderful submission now we have Punchy LaRue's submission and I love this. I love how your character looks. I honestly need to get through the quest lines because I need this top. It is super, super cute. I love it. Um, I think it's adorable how you've got Simba here kind of like roaring in the front. I think that's super fun. You do have Kristoff in the background here. Um, and I do believe that's Ursula in the background as well, which I think is super cool. Um, I love that you've got this like red carpet leading up to the partner statue and then towards the castle. I think that's really cool, sort of directs your eyes towards that area. Um, you've got the two Ferris wheels, which is a lovely addition. Woody's carousel, the teacup ride, the figment topiary the Dumbo ride, like there's a lot going on, definitely giving the theme park vibes, I think this is a gorgeous submission, really well lit, really vibrant, really colourful and I think this is going to do extremely well. Now we have Queen234 with their submission and I love this submission, I love that you've used the like, um, it's a small world pillars to kind of like frame 
uh, the castle walkway. Uh, you've used the partner statue here at the front, which is a great addition. The Hollywood Tower Hotel, again, a really great touch. Putting these two food stands side by side, again, really genius. Having those food court sections is like, it's a pivotal part or important part of theme parks is that they have these like food court sections um, where you can get all your lunches and stuff like that. You've got Woody's Carousel on the right and even using the V8 like cafe, such a cute touch. And I can't let this go by without mentioning Wally. Uh, Wally looks adorable. I'm such a big fan of Wally. Literally, sometimes if I'm stuck on voting, there's a lot of things that are very personal when it comes to voting that, you know, you can't control, you know, the other person who's voting will use their own personal preferences in voting. Like for me, if I'm undecided between a submission, sometimes I might not vote for one that's got Minnie in it because I don't particularly like Minnie. Um, and likewise, if there's a submission that's got Wally in it, I might vote for it because it's got Wally in it. And I do want to stress, this is only in cases where I'm really torn between voting. Um, it is an unfortunate thing that I tend to find that really good submissions are up against really really good submissions and you're literally looking for minor details to pick out to choose because literally both submissions will be fantastic representations of the theme they'll both be really well taken really well composed shots that you've literally got to pick either one minor flaw or one minor bonus point to kind of choose between submissions and things like mickey clouds are that for me characters that i like such as wally um and then on the opposite side you know if you're looking for a reason not to vote for a photo a character that i don't like is going to be probably another thing that could make that decision so i love that you've included wally personally obviously everyone's going to have their own personal preferences and obviously the mickey cloud i think is a great addition so i think this is a wonderful submission i think it's going to do really really well and i'm excited to hear what your results are next up we have baby ghoul submission again i need to get this top it's so cute it's so so cute i love this setup with the like hollywood tower hotel in the background there's a lot of depth with this photo which i really like you've got the ferris wheel on the right here you've got the um the bird like swan boat I forgot what it was called then. But yeah, you've got that. I'm a bit confused how you've got this set up. Because this can only go in the water, right? Is this in the water? Where, where is this taken on Eternity Isle? That's... Because that's the boat. But like... How did you get... The swan? <gasps> is this at the edge of the lagoon? Oh, that is so smart. That is so clever. I think this is taken at the edge of the lagoon. So it almost looks like this kind of like beachy kind of like path. But then you can see this one ride. But you don't see that it's necessarily in the water. I, I just think it looks really, really cool. Um, I love the the rides. Obviously, you've got the teacup ride. You've got the up balloons. Uh, you've got Pizza Planet. You've got Goofy. You've got Mickey. I think this is a wonderful submission. I think it's going to do extremely well. I think this is a guaranteed 4K. Super fun. I absolutely love this one. Next up, we have Christian Henry's submission, and I really like this one as well. You've got Goofy here. Everyone knows I love Goofy. Goofy's like one of my favourites. You've got the up balloons, Woody's carousel. Uh, you've got the castle here with a Mickey cloud framed like perfectly behind it. The timing on that is just so good. You've got the partner statue and using the Hollywood Tower... Um, hotel tower of terror whatever you want to call it um here is a great touch again creating those kind of like buildings like it could be gift stores or or even just standing in as the hollywood tower of terror like it, it just works so um yeah i think this is a wonderful submission next up we have blush danielle with this long like zoomed out submission of her beach on the not her beach her park on the beach <laughs> 
Oh my god, my words. This is beautiful. I love that you've got Mickey and Minnie here. Like Mickey sat there on the um the partner statue, which is a lovely addition. I love all the like Mickey mannequins as well. This whole like food court section is really well. I love this Lido um table with these chairs. Like that's super complimentary. They work really, really well together. I think this is definitely inspiring me for ideas for my own theme park. I did finish my theme park on Eternity Isle, but I have a feeling I might want to make some changes to it. Um, I knew I wanted to make some changes when this fountain came in because I'm actually going to replace the fairy bloss house with this fountain because uh, I think it works really, really well. The Wreck-It Ralph stands look really great, like, back-to-back -back here. Like, in terms of, like, actual, like, decorating, this works incredibly well. And, like, all the little details, like, the vine wall, these giant trees in the background, like, really kind of, like, tropical vibes. And I think this is a lovely way to frame, like, this section from, like, the beach to the meadow. It just works really well. And then, um, at least I'm assuming that's where this part of the beach is. I'm assuming. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, the Ferris wheel at the end. You've got the up balloons. Like, this is gorgeous. And even this flooring works really well together. Like, using the candy floor. Then this is, like, this, like, pebbly floor that you get um, from Eternity Isle expansion. And then you've got the regular cobbled floor here. Like, all the flowers and benches. This is a really well-created theme park. I really enjoy this submission. Next up, we have Bagel Arena with this submission. And again, I really, really love this. The lighting in this is so good. One, the glow amongst all the flowers and foliage. I'm not entirely sure how you've achieved this. Like, some of it's obvious. Like, you can sort of see the lantern here. And behind these pillars, I'm guessing, are also lanterns in different colours, like lampposts. But how have we got the lower down glows? This is incredible. Honestly, that's just so wonderful and vibrant uh, and just really eye-catching. I love the Dumbo ride, the teacup ride, Shay Remy here on the left. You've got the Hollywood Tower Hotel here. And like the way the lights glow on that, so good. And then the Ferris wheel in the middle with a Mickey cloud above it. This is a wonderful, wonderful submission. It doesn't feel overly busy. It doesn't feel overly cluttered. Um, but certainly given those theme park vibes, I love this. I think this is wonderful. And I really hope this gets 4K. It definitely deserves it. Next up, we have Sophia with their submission. Uh, another fun submission. Love how the photo is framed at the front here with the flowers. This like little food section with the chip, the popcorn, the candy floss, the snack machine. You've got the carousel ride here, which is really cute. The use of Pizza Planet. Um, the partner statue works really well here. And then the castle in the background. I think this is a wonderful submission. I do believe this is on Eternity Isle as well. I do believe this is set up in the Dunes as well. Um, but yeah, I think it works really, really well. What I also find very, very interesting, so this is a Switch submission, I'm guessing. But look how this, like, this is like fencing, right? And I assume this is the metal fencing, but it almost looks white. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the light-coloured metal fencing, but it looks white. I don't know. It just looked very interesting to me. It was just really kind of cool to see. But, yeah, I think this is a wonderful submission, and I hope it does well for you. Next up, we have Rora with their submission. And this is a beautiful submission. Such a unique perspective. I love that we've got the uh, Woody's Carousel here, the Hollywood Tower Hotel. We've got this kind of like food court picnic bench style set up here. So you've got the Wreck-It Ralph food uh, machine here. You've got the Wally one. You've got the popcorn and ice cream stands. Uh, you've got these picnic benches with like cameras uh, drinks, energy cans, uh, energy drink cans, you've got the little bag, like just a lot of little details here, which I think is really what brings to life a lot of submissions, is these small extra details. I love that you're sat here, like you're relaxing after walking around the park for a long time. You've got the castle in the background, 
which is just a lovely, wonderful addition. You've got the Mickey Cloud. This is a beautiful setup and I think this is going to do extremely well. Next up we have Judith's submission and this is a super cute submission. Just look at Stitch here jamming on his little ukulele. That's super cute. I love how you've got like um, the boat in the background along with the Dumbo ride here. You've got Eve flying up into the sky. You've got the Ferris wheel, the up balloons, Pizza Planet, the Figment Topiary. Like there's a lot of items here but I think they all work extremely well together. I think this is a wonderful submission and I'm really excited to see you get 4K because I think it's pretty guaranteed with this shot. Next we have 404 a submission and this is so so good. This is incredible. Okay, so this is on Eternity Isle. I love that we've got like Agrabah's palace in the background here. I think that's a lovely little detail and inclusion. I love the Ferris wheel being sort of like in the center. We have the Dumbo ride, we have the teacup ride, we've got Pizza Planet and then we've got this little stall here along with the little popcorn stall which I think works really well. We do have the partner statue here which again is another great addition and then your character sat here at the front with the little companion and a bucket of popcorn but what I love is the characters here. We have Wally, Wally looks so adorable, so so adorable. Then you've got Eric, like, looking your way. He knows what he's doing. That man does not miss an opportunity. <laughs> and then we have Minnie here at the front. So I think this is a wonderful submission. I think this is a guaranteed 4K in the bag. This is so, so good and so vibrant, so fun. And I think this is really cool. Next up, we have the Rebel uh, 84 mic. I hope I'm saying that correct. I hope it is the Rebel 84 mic. If it's not, let me know <laughs> if I'm just somehow making a different word there or something like that. That's how I read your name. Um, but yeah, I love this. So you've gone for like a Tiki Room kind of inspired snap. You do have some rides at the background there with like the Ferris wheel. But I love that you've used like Moana's house. We have this like ice cream stall set up. So you have all the ice creams here. This looks really good. Is this like one of the Eternity Isle recipes? Because like this is the banana ice cream one. Like what is this one? This must be one of the new Eternity R recipes. Because I don't think I've seen this like really used. But this looks so cool. This is so good. This is so good. I love how it looks like you're choosing with the monkey. Like which flavour of ice cream to get. Like that is so cool. And this par thing looks really good. Um... This is uh, it's commonly known as Rock Rug, but I believe its official name is Rocky Terrain. And it's overlaid on top of the leaf strewn path. And I just think that works really, really well. I love the kind of like tropical vibes with all the palms, the bamboo and everything like that. This just works really, really well. It's a really unique shot. And I still think this is going to do extremely well. Next up, we have another incredible submission with Nolan. Nolan really goes all out with the submissions, like, honestly. So, not only do we have the two Ferris wheels in the background with this castle, which, you know, kind of adds a real nice dimension and frame into the shot. We've obviously got the teacup ride. We've got the mini and Mickey water fountain here. We have a little food court like section here with the Wreck-It Ralph stand and then the little like popcorn stand is a really great touch. But then look how many characters you've got in this shot and how actively they're posing. Now I admit this is mainly because of the fact that you've done a selfie shot so they are responding to the selfie camera. So we've got Buzz here, we've got Woody, we've got Mike, we've got Sully, we've got Minnie and Mickey and then over here we've got Vanellope and stitch which i think is just really cool it's it's just a fun submission and i think i i don't necessarily have something major against selfie photos like in decor challenges i think they can work when you're still showing off the decor i think they work work less well in outfit challenges because people say specifically they want to see the whole outfit so i get that and i get why they don't tend to work as well in outfit challenges um but yeah, I just think this is really, really cool. I love this. It really captures the fun 
vibes of like a theme park i think this is a really really strong submission i think it's going to do extremely well this is such a good photo and last but not least we have angel of thursday with their submission i love how you're set up with like the little um romantic like uh spaghetti dinner tables the lady in the tramp tables um they are used as like companion eating feeding bowls but um this really works and the fact that you've used like the little companion and then the like stuffed toys the little like plushies just works really really well we've got goofy here we've got mickey waving which is super fun we have the castle we have the two ferris wheels framed really really nicely we have all the like drinks and food like the boba the chips we have these rides here with the like hockey tables um we have the dumbo ride we have the teacup ride and then we have some more like picnic tables and food stalls here this is just a really really good submission and such a fun way to wrap up this round of submissions honestly this is really really good really bright really vibrant again you've used that kind of like makeup detail which i wish i'd thought about because i think it's a wonderful addition so yeah i think this is a fantastic submission for the challenge well there you have it that's all we have for the theme park the diy theme park discord uh dream snap submissions i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was a lot of fun for you to see these great um inspiring and creative submissions um it was a lot of fun to go through these i really really enjoyed it so uh thank you to the community for sharing with me so i could share with everyone else um but yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you want uh it would mean a lot to me as a smaller content creator um but yeah anyway i had a lot of fun doing this but i guess it's time to wrap it up so i'll see you in the next video bye guys